your clown! Get off your slow moving ass! Aren't you going to say hello to Cloud? Welcome back, Cloud. Looks like the mission went well. You didn't argue with Barrett, did you? I kept my cool. Ask him. I might have known. That's so typical of Barrett. And when you were little, you got into fights at the drop of a hat. I was kind of worried. Where'd you get that flower? I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. They hardly ever grow in the slums. But if someone gave you a flower, then... Oh, I get it. It's not what you think. Give it to Marlene. Give it to Tifa. Cloud, how sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? Maybe I should fill the whole bar with flowers. Ah, nothing like that first drink after a job. <laughs> How about you, Cloud? Care for a drink? Sure, why not? I'm fine. Sure, why not? Ah, that's more like it. Even if you were a soldier, you're still a rookie here. Gotta respect seniority. <laughs> and, uh, you keep this a secret from Barrett. Please. Oh, Cloud! Tifa really knows how to cook! Anyway, I want to tell you something. I'm not interested in your stories. What? Tifa always lets me taste her cooking. <laughs> Look at me now. I'm roly-poly. Don't know whether I should be happy or sad, but it's good food and drink that puts this place on the map. Sorry, Cloud. Looks like Marlene's a little shy. Woo! Good times! I feel all excited! I wonder why. Barrett. Yo! Guys, we're starting the meeting. Grab a seat. So, What'll it be? Something to drink? Give me something hard. I'm not in the mood. Give me something hard. Just a second. It'll be ready in no time. You know, I'm glad you made it back safely. What's with you all of a sudden? That job was nothing. I guess not. You were in Soldier. Get your money from Barrett, okay? Don't worry. Once I've been paid, I'm gone. Cla Same as always, I guess. Oh, it's nothing. You look a bit tired, that's all. You'd better go below. You'd better go below. Have you heard? Not about what? It involves that girl, Tifa, and her bar, the Seventh Heaven. Yeah, so I'm nosy. Sue me. 
Anyhow, I've got the scoop. Interested? No, I'm not. Very. Well, she hangs around with a guy called Barrett and three of his goons. Every now and then, they cause trouble at the bar. Like they'll just throw someone out for nothing and rough them up. It's really suspicious. And the place smells like gunpowder or something. It's not safe, I'm telling you. They've just got to be up to no good. There's a TV in there, but that stingy old bat won't let us in. All clear! I'm good at being a spy! Ah! Uh, someone came out! Uh, report! Report! We're closed for today. Please, stop by again tomorrow. Hey, who the hell are you? Oh, you wanna talk? A newbie. I used to be in Soldier. The name's Cloud. I used to be in Soldier. I've got no business with you. Hmm. Well... Never heard of you. You'd better go below. So much damage though? I followed all of the instructions on here. Unless I made a mistake. Do you think I'm a little uptight? Not really. Our next mission is to bomb Reactor 5. I'm so nervous my teeth are chattering. And yet, you're calm. Like always. Don't you ever get nervous? Maybe you just can't feel anything. <laughs> nah, I don't think so. <sighs> hey, Merc. There's something I want to ask you. Were any of your soldier buddies fighting us today? No, none. I'm positive. Well, how's Mr. Confidence so sure then? If you guys had fought with Soldier, you wouldn't be alive right now. Don't give me that crap. Just cause you were one of them. Mmm. Yeah, you're strong. Maybe all them guys in Soldier are. But don't forget that your skinny ass is working for Avalanche now. Don't be getting no ideas about crawling back to Shinra. The hell you on? You asked me a question and I answered it. That's all. I'm going back up. And I want to talk about my money. Money? <laughs> You hell of a guy. You know that? Daddy, you're so cool! Cloud, wait! Tifa, let him go. Looks like Lapdog here misses his corporate masters. Shut up! I don't give a damn about Shinra or Soldier. But don't get me wrong. Not like I care about the planet or Avalanche either. Ugh, money. Well, a lot was promised after all. Yeah, definitely. We had an agreement. 
I guess this means I'll have to review our budget. Oh shit, it's Cloud. I think he heard me. Cloud, you say you don't care, but you're here talking to me. What you really want are friends, right? I'm really not interested, if you say so. You just look kind of lonely. I think we're the same, you and I. I'm here if you need me, Cloud. Please, Cloud, you didn't mean all that, right? Cloud, I'm asking you. Please join us. Tifa, I'm sorry, but... The planet is dying. Slowly but surely, it's dying. Someone has to do something. Baird and his buddies are on the case, aren't they? It's got nothing to do with me. So you're really leaving? You're just gonna walk right out on your childhood friend, is that it? What? I... I'm sorry. How could you say that? And you forgot the promise, didn't you? Promise? So, you did forget. Remember, Cloud? It was seven years ago. At the well. Look, the village water tower. Do you remember? Yeah, back then. I thought you'd never come, and it was getting a little cold. Sorry I kept you waiting. Well, you said you wanted to tell me something? Come this spring, I'm leaving the village for Midgar. All the guys are leaving, aren't they? I'm different from the rest. I'm not after any old job. I want to join Soldier. I'm gonna be the best. Just like Sephiroth. Sephiroth? The great Sephiroth? Isn't it hard to join Soldier? Well, I won't be able to come back to the village for a while. the headlines? I'll do my best. Just promise me one thing. Um, if you become famous and I'm ever in trouble, you'll come and save me, alright? What? If I'm ever in a bind, a hero will show up and rescue me. I'd like to experience that at least once, wouldn't you? What? Come on, promise me. All right, all right. I promise. You remember now, don't you? Our promise? I'm not a hero. And I'm not famous either. I can't keep the promise. But you fulfilled your childhood dream! You joined Soldier! So, come on. You have to keep your promise. Now hold on there, big time soldier. I'm a man of my word. Here, take it.
This is my pay? I'm gonna need a raise. So you'll... You got the next job lined up? Double it. Three thousand. What did you say? It's okay, it's okay. Listen. We're really hurting for help here, right? Oh, uh, huh? But that money was for Marlene schooling. Two thousand. Thanks, Cloud. Morning, Cloud. Sleep well? Next to you, who wouldn't? Barrett's snoring is still ringing in my ears. Shh! Keep it down, he'll hear you. Barrett's always on edge before a mission. Our target's Marco Reactor 5. Head for the station. I'll fill you in on the train. Ugh, Cloud. Before the next mission, I got something I need to ask. See, thing is, I don't really know how material works. I'll give you the one we found, just teach me how to use it. Well... Forget it. So that's Soldier's big secret, huh? Uh, never mind, I'll ask Jesse later. But you're still handling the material. I'm coming along with you this time. Oh, yeah, Cloud. The guy on the second floor of the weapon store told me he has something for you. Don't forget! Marlene, the bar's in your hands. Alright, good luck! This keeps up. The store is going under. It's helpless. Selling medicine in a slum like this. Oh? Would you look at that? You're telling me you're a customer? Great! Welcome! We sell! We buy! See you walk out of here without buying something. That'd be unfortunate. If you catch my drift. Damn, man! Your 
face looks like a chuck a bull's ass. You tie pups, and you can rest up on the third floor if you like. There's just one condition. Cough up some dope. Ted Gill. Oh, man. Cool. Help yourself to a bed. Ah, so you came. Who are you? I'm the creator of this mod. The name's Suna. So you're the reason I can talk. Yep. But that's not why you're here, is it? You're looking for the all materia? I got it right here. But first, need to know anything about Echo S? Nothing. Time system. If you choose to have the time system on, you'll have seen by now that the sun actually raises and sets. Right now it's purely for looks. But it won't stay that way. The movies also change depending on your time. If you open the menu, you'll actually see what time it is in the lower right. The date, too. Time here passes a little faster than you're used to. Every five seconds is equal to a minute now. It even works on the world map. But you won't see that just yet. Nothing. Done? Alright. Here. Make sure to talk to everyone, okay? We put a lot of time into this. Even AAA games don't voice everyone. Johnny doesn't get hurt by some floozy. That's what's worrying me the most. The whole district was listening from outside the bar yesterday. Tifa's childhood friend. I can't believe it. On a trip, they'll make me a better man. And so, it's goodbye. Uh, hey, childhood friend, uh, take good care of Tifa for me. The whole this Tifa. Has my son set off yet? With just the wife and I, it's going to be pretty lonely here. He gave us nothing but trouble. But now that he's gone, we miss him. Strange, isn't it? Hmph. 
What's the point in getting all of this juicy gossip if no one will listen to it? Hey, I'm not interested. Next time, I'll have something that will pique your curiosity. You just see if I don't. That's fine, Johnny. Gone. Just like that. Here's your rivalry. Truth is, I'm a lonely guy when I'm not drinking. Uh, um, I'm sorry. No entry from here on. W was that okay, sir? Gotta be more assertive. But I. enough. Me too. You know, this is the first time we've ever agreed on something. Well... Yeah. Good morning! It's a new day, but... Nothing's changed. You be careful. Come on back, you hear? Yo! This ain't reserved! Split up! Split up! Packed with hoodlums again. God, don't I just have all the luck. Hum? What the? Hey, this train's almost empty. Where is everybody? Well, maybe it's like that because of guys like you. Yipes! You, you've seen the news, right? Avalanche declared that this is the first of many attacks. Only devoted Shinra employees like me would go to Midgar on a day like today. Oh, you a Shinra suit? Son of a- I won't give in to violence. I- I won't even give you my seat. Barrett! Shit. You got lucky. So what's the plan? You have to be so damn calm about everything. You're busting up my rhythm. Looks like they finished connecting the cars. We're leaving. Tell me about the mission. <laughs> Look who's fired up about work. Yeah, I guess I gotta explain. Jesse's probably told you that there's an inspection at the plate boundary. It's a system that performs an ID check on each car. Which Shinra loves to boast about, of course. Our fake IDs won't work there. Thank you for traveling with us. We'll be arriving at Section 4 Station at 11.45, make our time. That means...
means we're only three minutes from the check. Alright. In three minutes, we jump it off of this train. Got it? Cloud, over here! Let's take a look at the room. People who come to my home are you guys. I'm impressed. Hey, oh so wise ex soldier. You ought to know the area around Reactor 5. Let's see you handle it. Please, t -t -t don't mind me. <laughs> I'm gonna tell everyone at work about this. You've seen this before? Oh, well, come a little closer. That's odd. The ID check should be further down. Type A security alert. Unknown IDs detected. Emergency check on all cars. I repeat, Type A security alert. Unknown IDs detected. Emergency check on all cars. What? The hell's going on? We're in trouble. I'll explain later. Hurry to the next car. Shit! Someone blew it! Unknown IDs detected in car one. Prepare to lock door. Move! Keep moving! Please! Car 1. Door locked. Moving to security level 2. Let's go! The doors are locked! Keep running! It's time for Plan B! Hey, you guys are kind of rowdy. You're an adult, aren't you? Then start acting like it. Huh? What? You want this? This one's a freebie, but be warned. Freebies are addictive. Car 2. Door locked. Moving to security level 3. We in the clear? Not yet. The next check starts soon. If they find us, we're finished. But don't worry, if we keep moving up the train, we should be alright. Unknown passengers moving to the front half of the train. Confirming present location. <laughs> Farewell! I am so... I do... Midgar! <laughs> yes! Um. <clears throat> Car 3. Door lock. Moving to security level 4. It's terrible. Bandits. This day and age, they stripped me bare. Uh, you got any idea what happened? When the three of us woke up, we were, uh, <clears throat> uh, butt naked. You can imagine what that looked like. Some scary girl stuck a bomb in my face. It's not like I could do anything. R4. Door locked. Moving to maximum security level. Alright! We made it! Yo! Over here! Let's go! Hey! It's me! It's me, Jesse. What do you think? 
Does a Shinra uniform suit me? Not now. Concentrate on the mission. Aw, rain on my parade, why don't ya? This is not what I had in mind. Too late for that now. Why'd you come along anyway? Well, because... And there ain't no time for that. Hey, I said there ain't no time. Don't just stand there. Okay, I'm ready. Here I go. You don't care if I go first? The leader stays till the end. Get on with it. Cloud, don't go getting your spiky ass hurt. The mission's just started. Later, you handle the rest. Good. So far, everything's going as planned. Don't let your guard down. We still got to get to Reactor 5. Biggs, Wedge, and Jesse have gone on ahead of us. Come on, let's go. Reactor 5's just down this tunnel.
regards. We'll have to turn back. You're that scum avalanche! It's a terrorist attack! Reinforcements will be on the way. It's dangerous here now. Hold your ground. It's a terrorist attack! Avalanche are attacking! Reinforcements will be on the way. It's dangerous here now. Hold your ground. It's a terrorist attack! Avalanche are attacking! Reinforcements will be on the way. It's dangerous here now.
these light beams are Shinra security sensors. We can't go any further. Man, that's one tight fit. We have to go under the plate from here? Nah. What do we do, Cloud? Jump, don't jump down. Jump down. Have a good look inside. Doesn't seem to be anything we can use as a foothold in the duct. Yeah. Once we go down, there's no coming back up. This ain't no time to mess around. Never know when Shinra will turn up. Cloud, there's no other way. Jump down. Damn, man. This gives me the chills. up that way. guys. It's my fault we didn't clear the ID check. It was your card, Cloud. I think I overdid it. I put my heart into it, but I failed. I'll I'm going to go back to the hideout and work hard on my research. I'll make you a better one next time. I'm going to go back to the hideout and work hard on my research. We're pulling out now. See you back at HQ. Cloud, we're counting on you.
enough of your sorry ass! Can you handle this? Sephiroth. Sephiroth did this, didn't he? Sephiroth. Soldier. Mako reactors. Shinra. Let's finish the job. Yeah, yeah. Keeping me on a tight leash. I got it. Straight up. You being Tifa's childhood friend don't mean shit to me. Right.
that the three of us have to push these buttons simultaneously. Shake it off! Let's try again! One more time! You'll get it the next time! What's going on? A trap. President Shinra! Why is the president here? Ah, you must be the sewer rats. What's its name again? Avalanche! And don't you forget it! It's been a while, Mr. President. Been a while? Oh, the eyes of one who's bathed in Mako, which would make you a soldier, or more like a traitor who threw in his lot with homegrown terrorists. Tell me, boy, does this soldier have a name? Ex-soldier, Cloud Strife. <laughs> You'll have to forgive me. I can't be expected to remember every soldier's name. Unless you were another Sephiroth. Ah, yes. Sephiroth. Now that's a soldier's name worth remembering. Sephiroth? Think you're forgetting someone? Or do I have to remind you that your reactor's going up in smoke? Ah, yes. Indeed. The fireworks display will prove rather expensive and all to deal with a few criminals. Criminals? You call us criminals? You know that's real big coming from Shinra himself. You who would see the planet die, all to line your fat pockets. There ain't enough hours in the day to hold you account for all your crimes. I'm afraid I've grown weary of entertaining you. I'm a very busy man, you see. So if you'll excuse me, I've got a dinner appointment. Oh, don't go yet. I have a shitload of bullets to feed your ass. We're both busy. As it were, you have an appointment you have to keep as well. <gasps> What's that noise? The hell is that? Allow me to introduce the two of you. This is Airbuster, a prototype mobile unit. <laughs> I'm sure the data records in your battle together will prove invaluable. Mobile unit? Now, you really must excuse me. Wait! Yo, Cloud! You gotta do something! Is this from Soldier? No way. It's just the machine. I don't care what it is. I'm gonna bust it up good.
Martin receives this! Long to get clear. Tifa, we gotta get out of here. Barrett, can't you do something? Not a damn thing. <laughs> Cloud, you have to live. You can't die. There's so much I have to tell you. I know, Tifa. Hey, you gonna be okay? I don't know. Put on a brave face. I don't know. Shit, I can't hold on much longer. Barrett, help! Big time soldiers don't bitch out, right? I'm sorry. Ain't nothing I can do. Barrett! Right. No getting off this train we own. Tifa! Go! No! 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 Tifa, no! <sighs> Damn it! Cloud. Come on! Uh, uh. Are you all right? Can you hear me? Yeah. Back then, you got away with it. Only grazed your knees. Back then? What about this time? Can you get up? Back then? This time? Worry about your body for now. Let's give it a shot. Oh! You're moving! How do you feel? Oh, that's a relief. Slowly now, little by little. Hello? Yeah, I'm getting there. Hey, who are you? Hello? Are you okay? This is a church in the slums, Sector 5. You fell straight out of the sky. <laughs> it gave me quite a scare. I fell? The roof and the flower bed must have broken your fall. You're lucky. Flower bed? Is this yours? <sighs> Sorry about that. Oh, <laughs> don't worry. The flowers are quite resilient, and this place is special too. You know how grass and flowers hardly ever grow in Midgar? Well, here, they have no trouble blooming. I like it here. We meet again. Have you forgotten? This is the first time we've met. Yeah, I have met you before. Yeah. You were a slum drunk. You were selling flowers. Oh, I'm so happy. Thanks for buying a flower. Some materia, don't you? I have one too. Materia isn't rare at all these days. But mine's special. It doesn't do anything. Doesn't do anything? You sure you know how to use it? No, it's not that. Anyway, I don't mind that it's useless. I just feel safe wearing it. My mother left it to me. Hmm, I feel like talking. Are you up to it? After all, we did meet again. Got nothing to talk about. Sure, why not? Good. Wait there a moment. I have to tend to the flowers. I won't be long.
just a little longer. Oh! Come to think of it... We still don't know each other's names, do we? I'm... Aerith, the flower lady. Nice to meet you. The name's Cloud. My job's... Well, I do a bit of everything. Oh, a jack of all trades. I do whatever needs to be done. What's so funny? Why are you laughing? <laughs> Sorry, it's just... I wasn't laughing at you. It was just bad timing. That's all. Cloud, don't let it get to you. Don't mind me. Hey, Cloud? Does your job include being a bodyguard? I mean, you are a jack of all trades! I suppose. Then get me out of here! Take me home! Alright, but I don't come cheap. Hmm, let's see... I'll go on a date with you. I don't know who you are, or where you're from, but... Or do I? I believe you do. Oh yeah, I do know you. That suit. Hey, little lady. What's with you always picking up weirdos? Says the Shinra lapdog. Do you want us to sort them out, sir? Hmm, I haven't really decided yet. Come! No! Stop! I don't want you all ruining my flowers! The exit's back here! You saw that, right? Mr. Bodyguard got Mako eyes. Well, whatever. Alright, you fools. Back to work, eh? Oh, yeah. And don't step on the flowers. Got it? You're gonna They're catch ruined! Holy hell! Go yourself. There they are! Cloud! Yeah, I see them. They're not gonna let us go. So, what are we going to do? The only thing we can do. Come on! It'll be alright. I'll catch you. Don't drop me, okay? The Ancient's getting away! Fire! Fire! Shit! I forgot! Don't harm the Ancient! Ah! Aerith! Ah, oh, crap. Did we kill her? Why do you have to go and do something stupid like resist? Cloud! Help! Damn! What's that? Aerith! 
Fight! Run! Fight them! Hold on! Fight them! Uh, uh, okay! Fight them! Hold on! There's a barrel. Maybe if I push the barrel? Thanks, Cloud. Aerith! Fight them! Uh, uh, okay. This way. <laughs> They're still looking for me. You mean it's not the first time? They've been after you before? Yes. Those guys are from the Turks. Hmm? The Turks are a part of Shinra. They scout around looking for worthy soldier candidates. Are they... always that violent? They're no better than kidnappers. And to top it off, they do a lot of dirty work on the side. Spies, hitmen, that kind of thing. I can tell from looking at them. But why are you being targeted? There must be a reason. Well, not really. Ah, maybe they think I have what it takes to be in soldier. Maybe. But would you want to join? I don't know, but I don't want to be caught by those low lives. That's for sure. Then let's go. Wait! Wait, I said! That's funny. I heard you had what it takes to be a soldier. Oh, you're terrible! Hey, Cloud, are you in soldier? <sighs> I used to be. How'd you guess? Your eyes. That strange glow. That's the mark of soldier. Those who have been bathed in Mako. But how did you know about that? I just do. You just do? Yeah. Come on, let's go, bodyguard. Whew! Finally made it. Let's see. 
key. My house is this way. We need to hurry before they find us. guy in the pipes a weirdin'. No matter what you ask him, all he answers in is Brr! or Ooh. Me are this guy? This guy are sick. He's been sick like this for a long time. People just ignore him at this point. And I haven't seen a single clinic since coming to Midgar. Looks like he's out of luck. I heard that someone helped him after he collapsed nearby. Sounds like he's a bit beyond help. Oh? I'll do it. You've got bigger things to worry about. Just leave them. Oh, don't worry. We'll be back soon. <sighs> hmm? What's that tattoo? Looks like the number two. Hey, do you know Wall Market? No. Yeah. No. It's a place in the slums of District 6. They've got all sorts of stuff there, but the way to it... Something you need, heading at the store.
together. You know, I've heard that above the plate, it's all flashy and glitzy. Sounds really cool. I'd like to go there someday. Hmm? Looking for weapons? Well, that's too damn bad. I've got none to sell you. Know why? Because the weapon store's over that way. Taking care of number one is the law of the slums. But to do that, you need a mighty weapon, right? What am I doing? I'm walking around with my head down. There's all kinds of stuff on the ground, but nothing ever falls from above, no matter how much you look up. Hm. We only accept cash here. Be it scrap, or be it materia, there's nothing you can't get here in the slums. Yes siree, I've got some fine materia lined up and waiting. Come take a look. Everything President Shinra says is an utter lie, but you can trust uh, a venture or whatever they call it either. They can slice it any way they like, but they're just jealous of those sitting up above. Who do I believe in? It's obvious, isn't it? Me. Myself. I don't tell lies to myself. That's for darn sure. This way, no one find she be not top or bottom, but hmm, huh? Open, open the hidden drawer in between. Open the bottom drawer. Open the top drawer. Open, open the hidden drawer in between. Hmm, five gil. Leave it. Steal it. Leave it. Targeted again? Are you all right? You're not hurt, are you? I'm okay. I had Cloud with me. Thank you, Cloud. So, 
What are you going to do now? Is Sector 7 a long way off? I need to get to Tifa's bar, the seventh heaven. Is Tifa... a girl? Yeah. A girl... friend? Girlfriend. I guess so. It's not like that. <laughs> no need to get that upset. But... Oh, it's nothing. You said Sector 7, right? I'll take you there. You've got to be kidding. What are you going to do if you get into trouble again? I'm used to it. Used to it? Yeah, but... Getting help from a girl... Hey! You expect me to take you seriously after hearing a thing like that? Mom, I'm taking Cloud to Sector 7. I may be a while. Oh dear. Well, it's no use us arguing. You won't take any notice. But if you must, why not go tomorrow? It's already late. Yeah, you're right. Okay, go on and make the beds. That glow in your eyes. Are you in Soldier? Yeah. Well, I used to be, but all that's behind me. I don't know how to say this, but would you mind leaving tonight without telling Aerith? We'll be passing through Sector 6 to get to Sector 7. It's a little dangerous, so rest here tonight. Cloud, good night. I'm beat. You are, aren't you? Tired of this. Mm -hmm. A proper bed like this. It's been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, I guess. Since back then. My, how you've grown! I'll bet the girls never leave you alone. Not really. I'm worried about you. The city's full of temptation. Your poor mom would feel a lot better if you settled down with a nice girlfriend. I'm fine. You know, if you had an older girlfriend, she'd give you some stability. I think a girl like that would be perfect. I'm not interested. I must have fallen asleep. Through Sector 6 to get to Sector 7. I should be fine. Cloud! I thought the Turks were back! Now be quiet and get some sleep! Better not get caught this time. You're up bright and early. You said it's going to be dangerous. I can't take you. Finished? You have to go through the Sector 6 slums up ahead to reach Tifa 7th Heaven. I'll show you the way. Come on, let's go!
You're finished! to Sector 7 is... over there! Got it. I guess this is goodbye. You think you can get back on your own? Oh no! I can't make it back! What are you going to do then? Hmm? We'd go to Sector 7 together. I would take you home. We'd go to Sector 7 together. Well, I'm happy with that. But won't you get into trouble? What? Never mind. Let's have a rest. still here. Cloud! Come here! What class were you? Class? In Soldier. Oh, I was... first class. The same. As who? The first guy I ever liked. Were you together? It wasn't like that. I just thought he was kind of nice. I might know him. What's the guy's name? It doesn't matter anymore. Hmm? Who's back there? Diva! Riding on there is Tifa? Where's she going? And what's she dressed like that for? Wait! I'll go alone. You go home. in all kinds of ways, especially for girls, so we have to find Tifa fast. Hey, you there. Need a rest? We have some great rooms on offer, so how about it? I just can't make up my mind. Hmm. <laughs> Don't make me spell it out. It's about that manor on the right. get so poetic at times like this. I give up. Oh, you're... What? what? You too? Don't bring me down to your level. Yeah, me too. Don't bring me down to your level. Uh, you see, you see, um, I thought about it a lot, and I've decided I want this to be my last memory of Midgar. But that guy over there sc scared me off. <laughs> hey, dumbass! What's the big idea? Can't you see I'm busy? Beat it or I'll beat you! Ugh, this is never gonna work. I'll never get anywhere at this rate. 
Not with my rank and salary, anyway. <sighs> I'm not in her league. The Honeybee Manor is a members club. I'm very sorry, but you'll have to leave. Welcome! Even losers like you may meet the girl of their dreams here at the Honeybee Manor. Are you looking for a girlfriend? I'm not interested in a place like this. Do you know a girl named Tifa? <laughs> you're fast. Tifa's our sexy newcomer. But you're out of luck. She's being interviewed right now. Here at the Honey Bee Manor, it's customary for all the new girls to be taken to Don Corneo's mansion. Don Corneo is a famous bachelor and a bit of a womanizer. He's settling down now, though, and is out in search of a bride. I just can't make up. <laughs> Don't make... Cats are nice, aren't they? This one's a little too big though, huh? Ah! If you need anything, please let me know. Welcome. Please sit wherever you wish. Got another coupon today. Please have a seat. Don't sit down. Sit down. Hello. What would you like? Let's see. Sashimi. Today's special. Sashimi. Yakiniku. Sash, today's special. One special. Coming up! We have a cash first policy here. That'll be 70 gil, please. Thank you. Please wait a moment. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Enjoy. Let's see. It was all right. Not really to my taste. It was all right. Mm. I always get the special. It's thanks to the Don that we can eat like this. Like that. Come on in. If you enter now, you may receive a free pharmacy coupon. Welcome. Please sit. Please have a. Hello. Let's see. Sasha, today's special. One special. Come. We have a cash first po Thank you. Sorry to have kept. Let's see. It was all right. Thank you. Here's a coupon. You can exchange it for an item at the pharmacy. That was the last of the coupons, so we're no longer offering that promotion. Keep an eye out for the next promotion. Hey buddy, that's some beauty you've got with you. Take it to the dawn and you'll make a mint. It's too early for lunch. Come back later. Hmm. 
<sighs> I'm on my break right now. Oh, what to do? Maybe I should just buy it. Stop pushing! Learn some manners! Welcome! Please take your time! Can't we do something about all this trash? It belongs to the owner of the weapon store. He keeps picking things up and dumping it here. Oh, the shop that even has a tank on display? But just look at all of this. It's completely worthless. Hey! Why not join us? Okay. One. Two. Three. Squats! are all about rhythm! Big bro! I'm doing my best! How's this? Oh no! I've put on weight again! You after something? I don't want to hear any complaints about my storage area outside, though! I swear, that's what happened. <laughs> Can I help you? If you'd like to order, please do so at the bar. Hey, you've got to do something. Someone went in there and they're not coming out. And I, I can't hold it much longer. Uh, what are you doing? Stop looking, damn it! Ugh, times are bad. This is Don Corneo's mansion. He's a big shot here in Walmart. Listen, the Don's not into men, so get the hell out of here. Oh, you've got a cute coil with you. Ah, so this is the Don's mansion. I'll go take a look. I'll let Tifa know you're here. Uh, no! Why not? This place, it's, uh, well, you know. Then what's your plan? Are you coming in with me? I'm a man. If I bust in there, it'll just cause a big scene. On the other hand, I can't let you go in alone. Come to think of it. First, we need to know if Tifa's safe or not. What's so funny, Aerith? Cloud, dress up as a girl. I'm sorry, but it's the only way. What? Just you wait there. 
I'm gonna go find a cute friend of mine. Aerith, there's just no way. You're worried about Tifa, aren't you? Then come on, let's hurry. Nope, I just can't make up my mind. Here, you take this. You won't get in without it. Excuse me, I'd like a dress, please. Hmm, it could take a while. What's the problem? Well... My father's in a bit of a slump. He makes all the dresses, you see. Where's your father? <laughs> He's probably getting plastered at the bar. So what you're saying is, unless something's done about your father, I can't get a dress? I'm afraid so. <sighs> We're in a real pickle. What? Perhaps you could help bring him back somehow? Sure. I mean, if I don't do something, I don't get a dress, right? Really? It'd be great if you could get through to that crazy old codger. I'm at my wit's end. Alright, I'll do my best. Come on, Cloud, let's go! Father, the man working at the clothes store. I own the clothes shop, but I ain't your father. Uh, well. Make me some clothes. I don't make men's clothes, and I don't feel like making nothing right now. Cloud, I'll have a talk with him. Go have a drink or something. Excuse me, Mister. You see, it's like this. He told me that just once. He'd like to be a girl, so that's why I need a cute dress. What? A tough looking guy like that? So, how about it? Might be interesting. I was getting a little bored just making regular clothes. Then you'll do it? Yeah, alright. What kind of dress you want? One that feels... Smooth and sparkles shines. Got it. You know I got a friend with the same taste as him. I'll go talk to him. Hey, bud, got a minute? We need to talk. And a man. What do you say? Mm. I'm not interested. Let's hear it. Really? Thanks. I I'm sorry, miss. Would you mind going over there for a second? Why? Aerith. Uh, gosh. I'm sorry. Now, here's the thing. You know that vending machine at the inn? I am dying to know what's being sold in it. From what I've been told, it's not something a girl should be seeing. What? Why don't I go? Well, to tell you the truth, I argued with the owner, so now it's kinda awkward. Come on, please! Hmm. I'm not interested. You're on. Great! Thanks. I'm counting on you. Finished? Looks like all went well. He's been working on the dress ever since he got back. Welcome back. It's ready. Go try it on.
How do you put this on? Whoa! What are you doing? Yeah, it's still not right. A wig! That's what you need. Mm hmm. I thought you might. So I talked to my friend about getting one. You know the gym? You'd find a lot of people there like you. Go and talk to them. Like me? Aerith, just what have you been telling him? Never mind that now. We got a pretty dress. You the one who wants to be cute? Cute? That's right. We need a wig. Yeah, I heard. But it'll cost you. Only those who have mastered being a bro can be as cute as Big Bro. That's right. So you've got to compete with us. You're right. Let's do squats. All right. I'll smash him out of this gym! Hang on a sec. Aren't you a man? Cloud! Am I a what? Everyone around here just calls me Big Bro. If that's what you mean. Anyway, never mind that. Come here. Let me explain the rules. From the ready position, push switch to squat, then cancel to get up, and confirm to go back to the ready position. Switch, switch, cancel, confirm. In that order, you got it? Yeah, I got it. If you can squeeze out more squats than him in 30 seconds, I'll give you the wig. I won't lose. Big Bro's wig is mine. You sure talk the talk. It's not fair of you to start right away. So you want some practice? I don't need practice, just a little warm-up. Okay, go! Here's the squat you managed. Time for the real thing. Go! He did this many squats, and you did that many. They're really something. Okay? I'm a man of my word. Here you are. Big Bro, I can't believe it. It's not fair. Shut up! Don't cry just because you lost. Ugh. Big Bro's fists of steel numb you to the bone. Big Bro, control yourself. Take special care of it. Hey, you there! Need a rest? We have some great rooms on offer, so how about it?
Welcome. It's this much gill at night. Hmm, this must be it. Buy, buy, buy the one for 50 gill. Buy the one for 100 gil. Buy the one for 200 gil. I don't have that much. I'll have to make do with another. Hmm, this must be it. Buy the, buy the one for 100 gil. I don't have that much. I'll have to make do with another. Hmm, this must... Buy the, buy, buy the one for 50 gil. I don't have that much. Hmm, this must be it. Thank you very much. Please come again. How did it go? I haven't been yet. Oh, well, I'm counting on you. If you need anything, please let me know. Oh, you have a coupon. In that case, please choose an item. We have disinfectant, deodorant, and digestive. Deodorant, digestive. Deodorant, disinfectant. Deodorant, digestive. Deo disinfectant. There you go. What are you doing? Stop looking, damn it! What do you want? Ugh. I could give her that item I received from the pharmacy. Sorry. Here, this might help. Huh? You're just giving me this? Wow, I really appreciate it. What the heck is this? Oh well, whatever. It didn't do a thing, but... Thanks for trying. Here, this is for being so nice to me. Well. Hmm, 
This must be it. Buy the one for 200 gil. Thank you very much. Please come again. I'm back. Excellent. Err. Hmm. So what was in it? Spirit Reloader, Gold Edition, eh? That jerk's doing some real good business. Well, he ain't seen nothing yet. I'll show him. Thanks, bud. I'm feeling motivated again. Here, take this. Whoa! It's broken. Oh, man! To enter or not to enter? Ah, I get so poetic. Oh! What? Oh, what? You too? Don't bring me down to your... Yeah, me too. Oh, oh, oh. You're Tifa's childhood friend. A and you brought a new girlfriend along to a place like this? <sighs> oh, just what kind of man are you? Ah, is that a membership card I see shining on your right hand? Please, come on in. There's something in here vital for my disguise. I just know it. Sure. Whatever you say. I'm going in. Tee <laughs> hee. Harry Harry. Please choose their room. What are we though? Well, no change there then. like this room's occupied. Take a peek. Eavesdrop. Mm -hmm. Looks like this room's occupied. Take a peek. Whoa! ceased. Is this the curse of the resurrected Devil King? Our most beloved queen doth not awaken. The time is ripe. A legend handed down since ancient times. Psst. Hey! If we don't stop this soon, we're gonna be in trouble. We're supposed to be attending a luncheon with President Shinra, and he's here pretending he's a king! You tell him! No way, I can't! <laughs> Whatever. A legend handed down since ancient times. I can't believe our boss sometimes! Promised land. It happens every time we the come to Midgar on business. Eyes. We dragged ourselves all the way from the Gold Saucer for this. What are you complaining about? And a great you only have to handle the lights! I have to wear this freaking armor and it weighs a ton! And yeah, I guess it's all part of the job. Speaking of which, have you heard? About his wife finding out about all this? <laughs> no way! Oh, it looks like he's done. Phew. Thank God. 
Hey, boss. I, I mean, your majesty. Ah, sorry, sorry. Please spare me the ancient curse. Please spare me the ancient curse. Tee hee. Howdy, howdy. Looks like this room's occupied. Mm -hmm. Looks like this. Take a. Whoa! What's wrong? You keep sighing. <sighs> I just. It's not about the room again, is it? Well. I know our son must have spent a bomb written over this for us, that a big round bed, gorgeous tub, I'm just not used to it all. Ah, stop it, will ya? Doesn't get much better than this below the plate. People would bite your head off to stay here. Tee hee, Harry Harry! Looks like it's not in use. Look around. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's not in use. Look around. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Oh, I just can't seem to lose weight. Mm. Mm. <gasps> oh my! You shouldn't be in here. Ugh. A frisky customer. Oh god, every so often they come in here. The inconsiderate type. Just ignore him. doesn't know his place. What a loser. I'm gonna ignore him completely. What a pest. Alright, get lost. You stray dog. That's it. I'll call him Pooch. What should I do? He's stalking me, isn't he? What if he jumps me on the way home? He will, won't he? I mean, he is a dog. And again, it's not a good idea to hurt the feelings of guys like these. Uh, I better say hello. Uh, hello, Pooch. Uh, I, I mean, lovely weather today. Goodbye. Introduce myself. By the way, I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm Cloud, a jack of all trades. Oh really? Welcome, Cloud. What the hell? Getting all cocky? No wonder I named you Pooch. Bye, Cloud. Good timing. <laughs> How do I look? Average. I'm not interested. Average. I'm not interested. Oh! Hmm. 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 Phew. This is hard work. Oh, what about now? Not good at all. Nah, still not there. Not good at all. Nah, still not there. What? Hmm. Hmm. Phew. It oh, what about now? Not good at all. <sighs> not that you care. 
but you sure have a talent for getting under people's skin. Hmm. Phew. Oh, what a... Not good at all. Nah, still not there. What? Ah! Don't look! Bye. Clap. Tee hee. Howdy howdy. Please do the room. Looks like it's not in use. Look around. I guess I'll take this one. This room looks good. Okay, I'm sure. Hmm. Don't make me repeat myself. Please, there's no need to get angry. Jeez, the buying time. After you. You. Should you be wasting time like this? Think you alone can solve all the problems in that little head of yours? Oh no! Sir! Help! Somebody, come quick! You must have realized by now that nothing changes when you only ever look at things from afar. What are you saying? Looks like it's started to move. What has? Wake up! Ow! 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 Wake up! Wake up! Woo! That's a relief! Sonny! Did you pass out? No, 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 no. That is no good. You can't allow yourself to be so nervous. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they say that youth is long. And yet, in truth, it is fleeting. Take care of yourself from now on, eh? Time's up. Bye bye I'm so sorry. Don't worry, we all have our problems. And this is for your trouble. Take good care of it. This tiny strip. For me. What the hell am I supposed to do with it? Sir, we're closing. Please don't forget any personal belongings. Take care now. Ugh, I wanted a flower too. But I get so nervous in front of cute girls. 
I can't help it. I just tense up. Hey! I bought a beautiful flower from Aerith. 500 gil. A little expensive, maybe. But I did get her name. I think it was worth it. I bought a beautiful flower. 500 gil. Aerith, thanks for selling me the flower. <laughs> One gil. I'll treasure this! I'm gonna have it pressed and keep it as a good luck charm! I asked Aerith for a date. She said not even if I had a million gil. Her flower cost 300 as well. She understands business. I'll give her that. Looks like you're all set. Now go try it on. And let's see how it fits. Looks like you got it. Go and try it on. Are you going to change? Not yet. Yeah, I'm ready. Huh. This might have opened up a whole new market for us. Yeah, let's give it a shot. You've shown us something new and brought back my father's motivation. The dress is on the house. Walk more gracefully, Miss Cloud. What do you mean, gracefully? <laughs> That's so cute, Miss Cloud. Oh, it's lovely. Do you have one that'll look good on me, too? How about this one? How about that one? Dad, what are you talking about? No, oh, what are you saying? This one. Oh, I think it has to be... This one. Huh? I'm gonna go change now. No peeking. So, how do I look? Oh, you're not fun. Huh. That's really something. You're weird. Mmm. Yeah. Looks good. Looks very good. What to do? Hey, pretty lady. Want a good job? Then go try your luck at the dance. You'll make a fortune. Yoo-hoo! Princess! Uh, 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 um, mm. I'm uh, out. I uh, uh, um. Uh, how do I say this? Uh, I'm Johnny. Nice to meet you. Meet ya. Yeah, meet ya. See, in my line of work, I deal only with pretty girls. Hmm. And you know what? You're the best I've seen. No, really. That's weird. Tough. Spiky hair. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Ooh, young girls and their smooth skin. Always gets me going. Huh? Muscle? You work out? That's are nice, aren't they? Sorry, we're full right now. Please come back later.
Can't we do something about all- It belong- He keep- Oh, the shot- What just- Hmm, so-so. Hey! Why not join us? Okay, one big bro! How's- I swear, that's what happened. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> oh, your friend is a little cutie. Come on in, come on in. Two guests coming through. I'll go let the Don know. Wait here, alright? Don't go wandering around. Now's our chance. Let's find Tifa. I wonder where she is. And you are? Oh, I remember. In the park with Cloud. That's right, with Cloud. Oh. Don't worry. We've only just met. It's nothing. Don't worry about what? Oh. No, no, don't take it the wrong way. Cloud and I grew up together. Nothing more. Ah. <sighs> Poor Cloud. Having to stand here and listen to us talk like he's not even here. Right? Cloud? Cloud? <laughs> Cloud? Why are you dressed like that? Nailed it, I know. Thank you. Moving on. I'm dressed like this because it was the only way I could get in here. What are you doing here? What happened to you after the fall? You're not hurt, are you? And don't worry, I'm fine. Aerith helped me out. I see. Tifa, what's going on? What are you doing in a place like this? Oh, uh... <clears throat> I'll just plug my ears. I'm glad you're okay. Yeah. So, what happened? When we got back from Reactor 5, we saw this weird guy hanging around. Barrett caught him and squeezed some information out of him. And that's when the Don's name popped up. Yeah, Don Corneo. Barrett said Corneo's a real creep, so it's best to just forget him. But I couldn't shake it off. I get it. So you wanted the story straight from Corneo's mouth. I got this far, but now I'm in trouble. Word is, Corneo's looking for a bride. Every day he lines up three girls, picks one of them, and... Anyway, if I'm not the special girl tonight, that's the end of it. Sorry, I overheard. We're here now, so it's not a problem, right? I guess so, but... We can take the other two spots. You can't, Aerith! I won't involve you. Oh? So it's alright for Tifa to be in danger? No, Tifa's... Are you sure? I grew up in the slums. I'm used to danger. How about you? Can you trust me? Yes. Thank you, miss... Just call me Aaron. Hey! 
It's time, ladies. Mr. Corneo is an impatient man. I told them not to wander around. I tell you women nowadays. Hurry up! I probably don't need to ask, but... The third girl is... Me, right? You're right. You didn't... Need to ask. <laughs> you know, come to think about it, you don't look too bad. I wonder what Barrett would say if he could see you now. We should hurry, before they get suspicious. God's waiting in his office. <laughs> All right, ladies, line up in front of the dawn. for tonight is... This face to die for! Oh, Mr. Cornado! You've got a good eye. You can have the other two. Yes, sir! Thank you, sir! Shall we be going, my lovely? Three cheers for the dawn! <laughs> well, little lady, are you ready? Come on, baby! Your heart is cute and sweet! Let's turn up the heat with this cool beat! Oh, your eyes! They have a mysterious glow. I'm your slave. <laughs> Come on, let's dance, beautiful. When two people dance, their minds and bodies become one. What's up? Need me to keep you company? I'm flattered, but I don't need any company because... Because? Because... I'm not interested in a bunch of scrubs like you! What? A man? You bastard! Leading us all on like that! Get him! Knock the crap out of him!
Are you ready for this? I won't disappoint you guys. Don't get in my way, or else. We've got to help Aerith. Are you alright? We've got to help Aerith. Are you alright? Well, he learned a lesson. Not taking me seriously will introduce you to a world of pain. Just once, that's all I ask. I just want to pretend I got a cute girl. <laughs> show you how the dance works. You'll be a master in no time. <laughs> no, no. That's not it. That's not it at all. No. That's enough. S stop. Come on. Come on. Show me. Show me. I'm too excited. Mm, let's get started. Here. Come, Daddy! Cloud! <laughs> what? Who's there? I'm sorry, Mr. Corneo. What, what, what the? We'll be asking the questions. What were your goons poking around for? Talk! If you don't... I'll chop it off. No! Stop! I'll tell you! I'll tell you! I'll tell you everything! Then don't keep us waiting! I had to seek out the den of this uh, guy with the gun for an arm. 
It was a commission. By who? If I blab, I'll get killed. Talk! Cause if you don't... I'll twist it off. It was Heidegger of Shinra! Heidegger of Shinra? You mean the head of public order? Shinra! What are they planning? Talk! If you don't... I'll smash him! You are serious, aren't you? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Shinra intends to crush this tiny rebel group called Avalanche or something. Together with their hideout, of course. And they are literally going to crush them. They are going to destroy the support plate. Destroy the tower. You know what will happen? The plate will go wee, And everything below will go BAM! I heard their hideouts in the Sector 7 slums. Uh, I'm just glad that it's not here. <laughs> They're gonna wipe out the Sector 7 slums? Cloud, will you come with me to Sector 7? Of course, Tifa. Just a second. Shut up! It won't take long. Why do you think scum like me would squeal? Hmm? Because because they've completely lost it. Because they were going to die. Because you're so sure you'll win in the end. Bingo, slum girl. How are the preparations going? <laughs> smoothly. Very smoothly. I've assigned the Turks to this. Mr. President, are we really going to do this? Simply to crush a group with only a few members at best? Why this objection now? Do you have something you want to share with us, Reed? No, but... As head of urban development, I've been involved in the building and running of Midgar. That's why. Reeve, flush personal problems down the toilet before you come to work. The mayor is also against this. Mayor? That buffoon just sits in this building all day, stuffing his face. You call that a mayor? Now, if you'll excuse me, sir. You're tired. Take some time off. We'll destroy Sector 7. The reports will blame Avalanche, and the relief operation will be handled by the Shinra Company. <laughs> it's perfect!
maybe not. Well, you can. Let's turn it up. shouldn't even be here. You can try to tell me to go home again. Can't promise I will, though. Say, if we go through the trains that are lit up, I think we should be able to make it through.
plate is going to be brought down. I've worked in the station for years! I can't bear to leave! How heartless! Why would anyone... <sighs> I'll just hope it's not true. We made it! The tower's still standing! Wait! Above! You hear that? Gunfire? You all right? Wedge! Come on! You remember my name! <laughs> Barry. He's up there fighting. Go help him. Come on. Sorry about this. Give him a good one for me. I'm going up. Aerith, take care of Wedge. I need a favor. My bar, the 7th Heaven, is nearby. 
There's a little girl called Marlene there. Don't worry, you let me handle this. It's dangerous here! You have to get away from the tower! You have to get out of Sector 7! Don't worry, I'll handle this. Well, look, this is my job, so I have to be here until the very last second. Oh, I just love men with a sense of duty. I'm going to stay here, right by your side. Uh-oh. Is the tower coming down? This is all too much. Do you need anything? If things get too hairy, we'll disappear. Wouldn't be the first time. You have to do something. It's my special little place. This is the final straw. I'm done. I never thought it'd come to this. It's not what I signed up for. I'm quitting first thing tomorrow. Oh, you made it. What happened to <laughs> not caring about the planet? Shut up, you're wounded. Still not interested. Shut up, you're wounded. Thanks, Cloud. Don't worry about me. Earth's hiding up top. Go help him. Yeah. This 
isn't the last anything. It's okay, Cloud. It's okay. We, because of our actions, because of my bombs, people died. They were my victims. I had it coming. our equipment before they attack in full force. Sorry, losers. You're too late. <laughs> Once I push this button. That's all, folks. Mission accomplished. We have to disarm it! Cloud! Baron! We have to do something! Not while I'm working! You ain't got shit on Reno and the Turks. Don't take it personal, bitches. Try and break it if you can. on yourself and give up now. That's time. Isn't any old bomb. That's right. You have a hard time disarming that one. <laughs> It'll blow the second some unwitting fool touches it. or I'll shut it for you! Uh, but, uh, I'd be more careful if I were you. 
You wouldn't want to hurt our special guest. Eric! Oh, you met. How nice that you could see each other one last time. <laughs> you should thank me. What are you going to do with Aerith? That's classified. The Turks were ordered to find and capture the last remaining ancient. It's taken us a while, I can tell you. But now we can finally report this to the president. a way out. We could use this cable. Marlene! 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 Fix! Witch! Jesse! Damn it! God damn it! God damn you all! What the hell is it all for? Hey, Barrett! Hey! Barrett, that's enough! Barrett, please! The girl's all right. She must have been talking about Marlene. You sure? But... Biggs. Witch. Jesse. All three of them were at the tower. Think I don't know that? But still, they fought beside us as comrades. I don't want to think of them as being dead. And the people of Sector 7. It's all screwed up. They destroyed an entire sector just to get at us. How many have died? Is 
this our fault? Because of avalanche, innocent people died? No. No, Tifa. It don't matter which way you cut it. That damn Shinra did this. Those dirty crooks are sucking the life out of our planet. All for power. And align their goddamn pockets with gold. Unless we take them out. They're going to kill the planet! Our fight ain't never going to be over till we get rid of them! I don't understand. You don't understand? What's there to understand? N no not that. I don't understand. My own feelings. And what about you? Mm. Hey! Where the hell does he think he's going? Oh, Aerith! Aerith? Is that the girl they took? What's her story anyway? I don't really know myself, but she's the one I left Marlene with. Marlene? Diva, there ain't no turning back now. Cloud! Take me to Marlene! You're gonna help Aerith, right? Yeah. But before that, there's something I need to know. What? The Ancients. The blood of the Ancients flows within me. I am the rightful heir to this planet. Sephiroth. Cloud, are you alright? Pull yourself together, man! After all that noise, the guy's still in there like nothing happened. He seems far worse, I suppose. yourself in the pits of Midgar. Then, that huge thing collapses. Yeah, but what can we do about it? I never thought something like that could ever come crashing down. I think from now on, I'll be looking up as I walk. Have you seen that? A launch brought down the plate? Something has got to be done about those sucks! Haha! <laughs> I got an item with a sash 
I saved up. My dream is being a big time dealer in the wool market. I'm feeling so good today. You can have it. Cloud, wasn't it? You're here about Aerith? I'm sorry. Shinra got her. I know. They came for her. Here? She wanted it that way. Why are they after her? Aerith is an ancient. Shinra says she's the sole survivor. What do you mean? Aren't you her mother? Not her real mother, no. It must have been... Yes, 15 years ago. During the war, my husband was sent to the front. Some faraway place called Wutai. One day, I went to the station because I had received a letter saying he was coming home on leave. My husband never came back. I wondered if something had happened to him, but I told myself that his leave must have been cancelled. I went to the station every day, then... You used to see that sort of thing a lot during the war. Take Aerith somewhere safe. That was the only thing she said to me. And then, she died. My husband hadn't returned. I had no children, so... So I decided to take her home with me. Aerith and I bonded very quickly. That child loved to talk. She talked to me about everything. She told me about how she'd escaped from some kind of research laboratory with her mother. How her mother had already returned to the planet, so she didn't feel any need to be lonely. And so many other things. Return to the planet? I didn't understand. I asked if she meant somewhere in the sky, but she said no, that it was the planet. She was a mysterious child, in many ways. Mom? Please don't cry. Aerith just blurted that out all of a sudden. So I asked her if something had happened. Someone dear to you has just died. He wanted to see you. But he's already returned to the planet. At the time, I didn't believe her. But several days later, I received notice that my husband had died in action. 
And that's how it was. It wasn't perfect, but we were happy. Until one day. We would like you to return Aerith to us. We've been searching for a long time. No! Never! Aerith, you're a very special child. You are a special blood. Your real mother was an ancient. Of course, I asked him what an ancient was. The ancients will lead us to a land of supreme happiness. Aerith will be able to bring happiness to all those in these wretched slums. That is why we at the Shinra Company desire her cooperation. He's wrong! I'm not an ancient! I'm not! But, Aerith, surely you hear voices when you're all alone. But I knew. I knew of her mysterious talent. She tried so hard to hide it, and I acted as though I didn't notice. It's amazing she escaped Shinra all these years. They need Aerith's help, so they've had to be gentle. But this time was different? She brought back a little girl with her. Sun had found them on their way here. Aerith agreed to go with Shinra in exchange for the girl's safety. Marlene. Marlene? Aerith was captured because of Marlene? Sorry. Marlene's my daughter. I'm really sorry. You're her father? How in the world can you neglect your child like this? Please don't start with that. I've thought about it plenty. If I died, Marlene would. I don't have no answer. I want to be with Marlene always. But I gotta fight. Because if I don't, the planet will die. So yeah, I'm gonna fight. But inside, I'm worried about her. I, I want to be with her always. See, I'm going in circles. Well, it's not like I don't understand. Anyway, she's upstairs sleeping. Go and see her. It's all my fault. I was the one who got Aerith involved in this. Don't think like that. Aerith doesn't. <sighs> Marlene, I'm so glad. I'm so glad you're all right. Daddy, don't cry. Hey, your beard hurts. Cloud, you gonna go save Aerith? She's done so much for me. If it's Shinra we're up against, I ain't staying here quiet. I'm coming too. Guess what, guess what? Aerith asked me lots of questions like, what do you think of Cloud? I bet she really likes you. Let's hope so. I won't tell Tifa. You're going after Aerith, aren't you? Yeah. I'm coming with you. We're going right into Shinra's headquarters. You have to be prepared for the worst. I know. Right now, I'm ready to push myself to the limit. If I sat here doing nothing, I'd go crazy. Sorry, but Could you take care of Marlene a little bit longer? Yes, I don't mind. Well, it's dangerous here now. I think you should move someplace safe. You're right. But promise me you'll make it back. Don't go getting yourself killed. How do we get to the Shinra building? There ain't no train that goes up there anymore. Hmm. Well, let's go to Wall Market. Maybe we'll find something there.
Hey, people! Come and stay here! I never dreamed that Plate 7 would fall down. Oh, it's you! Sorry, but we've heard all about you. In addition to dressing like a woman, you get your kicks from smashing stuff up. Our manor has a refined clientele. Understand? Now beat it! Oh, sorry, in addition to dr our... Lots of things fell from the sky. But that man with the tank took it all. I wanted some of that stuff too. That old guy with the tank says that if you're strong enough, you can get to the plate above. So, why not have a hearty meal? Welcome, please sit wherever you wish. Please have a seat. Hello, what would you like? Let's see. Saw today's special. One special. Coming up! We have a cash first policy here. That'll be 70 gil, please. Thank you. Please wait a moment. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Enjoy. Let's see. It was alright. Not really to my taste. Thank you. I always get the special. It's thanks to the Don that we can eat like this. That was scary. So you're dressed normally today, huh? If you come up with any more ideas, be sure to run them by me. Welcome! Please take your time. Stop pushing! Is this pile of trash getting bigger? You know what? I think it is. Well, when District 7 collapsed, loads of stuff fell down here. I heard the owner of the weapons store's been gathering it all up. Oh, so that's why the pile's getting even bigger. He's been a busy boy lately, hasn't he? At least, that's what I'm hearing. You mean the rumor that he keeps heading off to the plate's cross-section? Next to Mr. Corneo's mansion, right? <laughs> you really do keep on top of things. Just what is that guy up to? Whatever it is, I'm sure we won't like it. Well, training hard. Scary, isn't it? You just never know when the plate above might come crashing down. Wish I could climb it. I'd really like to see what's up there. Can I help you? If you'd like to order, please. Hey!
you going up to the plate as well? Then you'll be needing these batteries. You're selling stuff you just picked up outside. You know about that, eh? Well, it's all been repaired, so it's cool. Why do I need batteries to climb up to the plate? You'll find out on the way up there. I'll sell you all three, eh? What do you say to uh, 300 gil? Hmm. I say you're full of it. All right, let's have them. My friends have gone up there. They've got guts. <sighs> they used the cable. Yeah, at least the world above. All right, it's time to climb. That's just plain stupid. You know this goes up hundreds of meters. It can be done. There, what's that look like? Just the regular cable. Well, to me it looks like a golden shiny thread of hope. You're right. If we're gonna save Aerith, this is our only option. I didn't quite get your analogy, Barrett, but I understand how you feel. Let's go! Dad told me it's Shinra's doing. If I use a battery, maybe that propeller will start spinning. I guess I'll just have to trust the shopkeeper. Looks like I'll have to jump onto that. I should make it if I jump just before it's right in front of me. Jump to it. Looks like I'll have to jump onto I should make it if I jump just before it's right in front of me. Press confirm. Looks like I'll, I should make it.
Hey, you ought to know all about this building. No, I don't. Come to think of it, this is the first time I've been to the headquarters. Well, I've heard a few things. Check this out. The floors above the 60th are special. Not even the guys who work here can get to them easy. I reckon that's where they've taken Aerith. No one's expecting us, so let's get in there. Now hold on! You can't just go marching in through the front door. Of course I can. I'm gonna kick some shit in my butt and... That's insane! We've gotta find another way. Ain't gonna be no other way. If we keep wasting time like this, Aerith will... I know, but if we get caught here... Cloud, what do you think? We'll sneak in somehow. We're busting in. We'll sneak in somehow. See? Let's be careful and find a better way in. Yo, you really gonna take the stairs? It's the only way. We have to get Aerith back in one piece. I mean, I know we gotta watch out, but this is... Ugh, stop complaining. I'm going. J y Tifa, wait for me. Whew, it's four times now. Hey, wanna make 20 gil? All you gotta do is walk up those stairs. Not interested. Fine, I'll just go get a burrito then. Don't know. Why the hell? We gotta kill ourselves. Because I don't want any trouble until we've saved Aerith. Although, I don't think that's very likely. <laughs> what is it? You're giving me the creeps. So there's times when even you're fighting for other people. <laughs> Guess I got you all wrong. I'm not interested in what you think about me. I'm just saying... Sorry for... Before, you know? <laughs> now you're at it? What gives? How much further do these stairs go on for? I don't know. Why don't you ask them? You can't keep going on forever like this, can it? Of course it can't. Yeah, that was stupid. Are we there yet? Doesn't look like it. There yet? Not yet. Yo! I said not yet! Not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet! That's it. I've had enough. I'm going back. You're gonna go back down all those stairs we just climbed. <sighs> Come on, 
problem, Barrett. Pull it together. Don't matter what you say. I'm still only flesh and blood. Except for this right arm of mine. It's not like I have any special ex-soldier powers. I'm human too, you know. That's it. I'm leaving you behind. Huh? Ah! Barrett, stop looking! I don't want to go first anymore. You crazy! I didn't look anywhere! If you say so. And you can get in front of me too! And you can get- And you can get in front of me too! Hey, what, what floor are we on? I stopped counting ages ago. Why did they have to build this place so damn big? Shinra, they just no damn good. Someday. Hey, stop tempting fate. Just a little more. Only a little more. I hope. Finally made it. Oh, don't want to see any more stairs for the rest of my life. <sighs> well, we've got this far. Now comes the hard part. We have to keep this up. The intruder! That's all right. are you? Unauthorized personnel are not allowed in here. Look at all those damn guards running around. Cloud, 
Go on ahead and give us a signal. We'll follow. Hey! What are you up to? What happened to sneaking in quietly, huh? They caught me off guard. Don't worry about it. Yeah, well you better get it right this time. We're here to save Aerith, remember? Keep to the shadows! Our only chance is when the gods are looking away. Wait for the soldiers to let their guard down, then give the signal to the others.
That's how it's done. We go rock. Don't forget we're here to save Aerith. Hell, I know that. I've not seen you before. Just been assigned here? Well, don't you worry. I'll explain things. I'm kinda in a hurry. The things? Come on. What's with the face? I was only going to tell you about the floors above. The executives use a lot of the floors from the 60th onwards. You don't have a chance of reaching them without a key card. With a card, you can use the stairs and elevators freely. To use an elevator, all you need to do is press OK in front of the doors and... Voila! It will open after making that sound. Remember, there are different types of card. One key card alone won't let you roam everywhere. For example, key card 60 takes you up to the 60th floor, and key card 65 takes you up to the 65th floor. You see? Security like this is to be expected. Shinra are the sole distributors of energy in Midgar, and the whole world for that matter. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to ramble on. Well, all the best then. <sighs> He's late. And he forgot his key card? Even employees can't access floors above 59 without one. Who the heck are you? What are you doing here? Aha! I get it. You're from that group, aren't you? The one everyone's been talking about. Shinra Company Repairs! You know, this building's showing its age. Take this floor. The door's stuck wide open. Please fix it ASAP. Oh, and while you're at it, have a look at the other floors, too. Here, you'll need this. This floor is used for R&R. &R. From this point on, there are a lot of special floors for the bigwigs. As for the rest of us, we sleep away below all day. Trust me, it really takes it out of you. How do you do? This is the office of the Mayor of Midgar. Mayor Domino is inside. Incidentally, I am the Mayor's assistant. Should you have any questions, please don't hesitate to run them by me. Hmm? Oh, who might you be? You all must be those... <clears throat> Me? I'm Domino, the mayor of Midgar. Actually, I'm mayor in name only. The city and everything in it is really run by Shinra Inc. My only real job is watching over Shinra's documents. Me, the mayor, a librarian. Now, oh, you want to get upstairs? I'll tell you what, you can guess the password. I'll give you my keycard. Yes, that's it. That's the password, and I'll give you my keycard. Get it on the first try, and I'll even throw in a special item. Got it? Then tell me. The password is... Shinra is a fool. Mako is tops. Shin Mayor is the best. Shin Mako is top. The mayor blasts that Mako. Shinra goes boom. Wait. Shin Black Mayor is a bomb. Nope. You're all wrong. It's a much better word than that. Try again. Got it? Then tell me. The password is... Shin... Shinra is a fool. God, how beautiful that sounds. You are correct. President Shinra is a complete fool. I am the master of Midgar. Hmm. Well, okay. Here, take it. Hmm. Looks like you have your head screwed on. Fine. Take this as well. Why would I do something like this, you ask? Revenge, of course! 
Shinra's been torturing me forever! That's why I was a little rough on you just now. Now go up there and really make them suffer. Key card. Rank B. Employee confirmed. You are permitted to open up to three doors on this floor. Attention. If you receive a coupon, remember to exchange it for an item. Warning. Looking into ventilation shafts is dangerous. Please refrain from doing so. An air duct. It doesn't look like I can crawl in from this end. the door? Uh, yes. Will you open the door? Better yes. An air duct. Forget it. Try crawling in. An air duct. Please enter our command. Coupon exchange. All clear. Coupon exchange. All clear. Start again from the beginning. All records and materials obtained on this floor will be reset. Send the all clear. Better not. Coupon exchange. You can exchange your coupons for items. The items available are Coupon A Star Pendant Coupon B Four Slots Coupon C All Material Please note, after exchanging coupons, you can no longer issue the all clear. Will you exchange coupons? Better not, yes. Coupon exchange complete.
the All Clear command is unavailable after exchanging coupons. If you get tired, you should rest up in the other room. Oh. Oh. Oh, lately I've lately I'm a bit self-conscious about this belly of mine. Uh, I handle the building's security, so I have to keep up my strength. You must be visitors. Feel free to use any machine that's available. All you need to regain your strength, the Shinra Gym Special Tonic. Only 250 gil. This is so stupid. Give it a try. Nothing came out. Is it broken? Give up. Bang on it. Sir, what are you doing? No violence, please! What's this? A megaphone? We don't need that. A rest area. Move on, rest up. Let me get some sleep. model of Midgar, the city that feeds off of Mako energy. The model's incomplete. Leave it alone, insert the Midgar parts. Sounds like something opened up. Model of Midgar. The model sounds like something. Op
model of Midgar. The models. Leave it alone. Sounds like. Model of mid the mod leave it alone insert the midgar part. Sounds like something o Model of mid the mob. Leave it alone, insert the midgar parts. Sounds like something open. fed up with carrying all these files. I get to meet lots of cute men though at least. One of the perks of being a secretary. I said it's another executive meeting. I wonder if it's about the plate incident. When you're in the restroom, do you ever hear voices coming from somewhere? Like a load of whispering? Come on, come on! We're building the future of Mako! It's filthy. Climb up, flush the toilet. It's filthy. Climb, get out of here. Climb up and have a look. A lot of suits. The damage report for Sector 7 has come in. When considering the industrial sectors that were present and the investments that we have made, the cost to our company is expected to be in the region of 10 billion gil. In addition to this, rebuilding Plate 7 is expected to cost. We're not rebuilding. What? Plate 7 is being left as it is. Instead, we're reopening the Neo Midgar project. So the ancient girl has... The promised land will be ours in good time. Ray's Marco rates 15% in all areas. Great hike! Great hike! tra -la, la And please include our space program in the budget! Reeve and Scarlet will divide the revenue generated from the rates increase. Mr. President, raising the rates further can only add to the discontent felt among our citizens. Don't worry, the ignorant fools won't lose confidence. Far from it, in fact. Now trust our company all the more. <laughs> Af 
After all, we're the ones who saved the people of Sector 7 from terrorists. The Dirty Lion. Ah, Hojo. How is the girl? As a specimen, she is inferior to her mother, Ephalna. I am still evaluating the difference, but for now the discrepancy is 18%. How long will this evaluation take? I estimate around 120 years. It's unlikely to be finished in our lifetime, or in the lifetime of the specimen for that matter. Which is why we're thinking of breeding her. That way we can create the offspring with the strength to endure our research over a longer period of time. What about the Promised Land? Won't this delay hinder our plans? That is my conviction. In any case, the girl will be a strong mother. Although, she does have a few frailties. <laughs> I think that concludes our meeting. Where's that smell coming from? We're talking about Aerith, right? I don't know. Probably. Let's follow him. Hojo. I remember him, that Hojo guy. He's in charge of Shinra's science department. Cloud, you know him? It's the first time I've actually seen him. So, that's who. Let's see. The specimen Hojo asked me for is... What's up guys, Blitz here today bringing you another update. This just in, everyone in Midgar all of a sudden has voices. Sources have been saying that the activist group Pseudomods is behind all of this. Hey you, blue-eyed, chocobo-haired, large compensating, sword-wielding individual. What do you think about this? Um, excuse me? W wait, you're telling me you haven't noticed? Do you have Mako poisoning or something? What's up with your eyes? I was a soldier. Oh, interesting. Say hey, who's your friend with the red gloves? She looks like she's pretty good at handling the books. And that's all the time that we have, guys. Make sure you all tune in for some more information on what's going on in Midgar, and hopefully a new update is coming soon from Sunomods. Is this the specimen for today's experiments? It is. 
We shall proceed right away. Raise it to the floor above. My precious specimen. Precious specimen? Is it going to be used in biological experiments? Genova! Genova! Sephiroth! <laughs> so... They brought it here! Cloud! Pull yourself together! Did you see it? See what? It's moving! Is it alive? The hell is this headless freak? Man, that's messed up! Let's just get out of here! Is that her name? What do you want? We've come to take her back with us. Outsiders? You catch on real quick. There are far too many frivolous things in the world to concern myself with the likes of you. Are you going to kill me? I'd advise against it. The equipment here is extremely delicate. Without me, who would operate it? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> good, good. I always recommend logical thinking, especially in moments such as these. Now, bring in the specimen! What do you think you're doing? Lending a helping hand to some endangered species. Both are on the brink of extinction. If I don't intervene, these creatures will perish. Creatures? That's terrible! Aerith is a human being! You're gonna be! Barrett, can't you do something? Alright, step back. Have you? No! My precious specimens! Now's our chance! Thanks, Cloud. What's wrong? The elevator's moving. This inferior creature is nothing compared to the specimen down there. 
A ferocious specimen, indeed. The monster below is rather strong. I'll help you with it. It talked? I'll talk as much as you like later, miss. We'll take care of the monster. Keep Aerith safe. Barrett, you help her. What's your name? Ojo called me Red Thirteen. A name that means nothing to me. You may call me whatever you wish. Let's do it. Coming. Get back. Aerith, are you okay? <laughs> Looks like she will be now. I have a right to choose as well. I'm not that keen on two-legged things. What are you? Some kind of lab rat dog? A fascinating question. And difficult to answer. I am what you see before you. I'm sure you have many questions. But I think it's best we leave here first. I'll show you the way. Cloud! So you did come for me. I apologize for what I did back there. It was merely an act to throw Hojo off guard. No need to be in this building now we've saved Aerith. We're getting the hell out of here! If the five of us move together, we'll be noticed. Let's break up into two groups.
ahead. Remember, the elevator on the 66th floor. Later. Meet up on the 66th floor. Please don't kill me. I only did what Dr. Hojo told me to do. I'll prove it. Here, take my keycard. It'll get you as far as the 68th floor. Uh, would I do this if I run their side? on the 66th floor. What's going on? Would you press up, please? Turks must be a trap. This must have been a real thrill for you. Did you enjoy it? Shit! Where's Aerith? In a safe place. She's invaluable to us, the last surviving ancient. Cetra? That 
girl is a survivor of the Cetra? The Cetra, or Ancients, will teach us about the Promised Land. I'm expecting to hear great things from her. The Promised Land? That's just a legend. An enthralling legend. So enticing it must be pursued. The Promised Land is said to be incredibly fertile. And if the land is fertile, then there's gotta be Marco. Exactly. We won't even need to build any cash craving reactors there. The abundance of Marco will flow out all on its own. That is where Neo Midgar will be built. Our company's new glory. <laughs> Keep dreaming. Surely you've realized by now, all that one requires to make a dream come true is money and power. Well, that concludes your audience. Come on, out of his way. Now hold it right there, and I have a shitload of things I gotta say to you, you greedy son of a bitch! For all other inquiries, please talk to my secretary. Psst. Think we can escape? Gonna be tricky. Leave it to me. Cloud, you're so reliable. I wonder how Aerith is doing. Cloud, are you there? Aerith, you okay? Yeah, I'm alright. I knew you'd come for me. Hey, you did ask for a bodyguard. The deal was for a date, right? Oh, I get it. Ah! Tifa! Tifa, you're in there too? Yeah, sorry about that. You know, Aerith, I have a question. Yes? Does the Promised Land actually exist? Oh, well, I don't know. All I do know is, the Cetra are born of the planet. They speak with the planet, and they unlock the planet. Um, and then, the Cetra will return to the Promised Land. A land of supreme happiness, which was granted by the planet. What does that mean? More than words, I don't have a clue. Speak with the planet? Just what does the planet say? It's real noisy. Like it's full of people. That's why I can't make out what it's saying. Can you hear it now? No. I've only been able to hear it at that church in the slums. And my mom once told me that hearing it clearly in Midgar isn't possible anymore. My real mom, that is. Aerith. You must leave Midgar. Then you'll be able to speak with the planet and find your promised land. That's what she said. Back then, I thought I wouldn't be able to hear anything by now, but... I, wa I wonder how Barrett is doing. Yo! Aerith is an ancient. And the Ancients are all really called the Cetra. The Ancients know about a place called the Promised Land, which Shinra's really searching for. But the Promised Land's only mentioned in stories. We don't know if it exists or not. That right? Those jerks say the Promised Land is full of Mako energy, so if they find it, 
they'll suck it all up. And the land will wither away there too. The planet will get even more run down. I'm not gonna let them get away with it. Avalanche is recruiting new members. Me, Tifa, Cloud, uh, Aerith. How about you? God, you're so damn boring. I wonder how Red 13 is doing. Grandpa. Grandpa? <laughs> Grandpa. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> What's so amusing? Nothing. <laughs> Don't sleep. get some sleep. The doors opened. When did that happen? What's going on? Tifa, wake up! What's wrong? Something's not right. Take a look outside. What happened? He should have the keys on him. Tifa, help Aerith. I'll go get Barrett in Red 13. Barrett, Red 13. Something's wrong. Hey, how'd you get in? The hell? This isn't the work of man. I'll check up ahead. Leave this to me. You guys keep moving before we get caught again. Come on, let's follow Red 13. The Genova specimen. It's moved to the floor above. Let's use the elevator. leading somewhere. Above?
better. Dead! The leader of Shinra's dead! The sword is... Sephiroth! You mean Sephiroth is alive? Looks like it. Only he can wield that. Who cares who did it? Shinra's finished! <gasps> Please! Don't kill me! What happened? You saw him! You saw Sephiroth! Yeah! I saw him! With my own eyes! Really? Uh, when I lie at a time like this, I heard his voice too! Um, he said something about not letting us have the Promised Land! What does that mean? Does the Promised Land really exist? And Sephiroth came here to save it from Shinra? So he's a good guy then. Save the promise land. A good guy? No way. It's not that simple. Believe me. Sephiroth must have some other goal. Rufus. Shit. Forgot about him. Who? Vice President Rufus. The President's son. I heard he's been assigned somewhere else for a while. They say he's real cold-hearted. I wonder what sort of person he is. Even I know of him. So Sephiroth is alive, after all. Who are you? Cloud. Ex-soldier. First class. I'm from Avalanche. Same here. I saw flowers in the slums. Research specimen. What a crew. Well, I'm Rufus, president of the Shinra Company. The old fool's still warm. Not wasting any time, are you? True. As a courtesy, I'll let you hear the speech for my inauguration. Father controlled the world with the power of money. And that worked for him. Shinra made the people feel safe. They thought they were being protected. Work at Shinra, get your pay. Any trouble, any terrorism, and the Shinra army is there for you. On the surface, it's a perfect setup. But I do things differently. I'll control the world with fear. My father's way is far too expensive. You can control the hearts of men with a little fear. So, why waste good money on the mindless masses? Be under no illusions. I am not my father. Well, you're no different to him when it comes to speeches, that's for sure. Take Aerith and get out of the building. What? I'll explain later. Barrett, there's a crisis facing the planet. The hell's that supposed to mean? I'll talk about it later. Just trust me on this. I'll catch up with you after I take care of him. Uh, Alright, Cloud. I'll wait for him. You guys get to the elevator. Hmm. 
It's bound to be tougher from here on. We should check our equipment. So about Cloud and Tifa's material. shall purify. You'll feel it soon! shall come soon. Why do you want to fight me? Because you seek Sephiroth in the Promised Land. That's right. Did you know that Sephiroth is an ancient? Figures. Anyway, I can't let either you or Sephiroth have the Promised Land. I see. I guess this means we won't be friends. Don't 
get cocky. Don't get in my way, or else. That's all for today. Couldn't finish him off. Something tells me he's going to be a real problem for us. I'll go first! Son of a... The air was completely surrounded. On my own, it'd be nothing. What about you guys? Leave while you still can. It's not you they're after. It's me. <laughs> not gonna happen. You got caught up in this protecting my lead. Now it's my turn. I won't let them. I won't let Shinra do whatever they want anymore. Thank you, <laughs> Mr. Barrett. <laughs> Give me a break, Mr. Barrett. <laughs> That don't sound right at all. Well then, if you are both through talking, may I suggest we think of a way to escape? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> You're too damn cold for my liking, just like someone else I know. Is something troubling you? Not a thing. So what we gonna do? <laughs> Tifa, what about Cloud? Everyone, over here! No? What up? Where's Cloud? I'll explain later. Hurry! We have to hurry! Uh, Alright. Where to? Better be the hell out of here.
don't get in my way, or else. Ugh, they're broke just like us. Get fried. Sorry, but I gotta. Now what do we do? Sephiroth is alive. I... I have to settle the score. And that'll save the planet. Maybe. Right. I'm going with you. Me too. There are things I need to know. About the Ancients? Many... many things. I guess... it's goodbye, Midgar. Our journey starts here. It's dangerous. Worried? I don't know. But I've got no place to go back to now, so... I guess I'll have to like traveling. Now that I think about it, this will be the first time I've ever left Midgar. It's dangerous. You up to it? You don't like traveling? A little. Hmm, no. Maybe a lot. But I've got my jack of all trades. Right? We told Aerith's mom to go somewhere safe. So Marlene should be safe, yeah? Well, yeah. She told me... She didn't like Midgar anymore. Looks like all this came at the right time. Okay. Let's go. From here on, we need a leader for our journey. Of course, that could only be me. Hmm. I don't know. I think it has to be Cloud. <laughs> alright, alright. There's a town called Calm, northeast of here. We'll meet up there. But the five of us can't just stroll around the plains together. It's too dangerous. We should split into two groups. She would call. Saving on the world map. On the world map, Access the menu anytime and select Save to save your game.